actually going to see a friend uh an old mate of mine from the teacher training college but he's now schooling and residing in canada so he gave me the direction and that is what i'm following it's not easy it's kind of easy a little bit because he said do this do that do that and that is what i'm doing so i'm on there yeah so i met my brother uh we've been together for some time you know when we started when i started being a teacher we went to a uh, teacher training college so I know most of you who will be watching and are uh, old mates of you realize this face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we I mean we did a lot together yeah, man. back in college, you know, and uh we have uh, met again in Calgary, Canada. And it's beautiful. So let me ask you something. Yeah. What was my character back then in school? I mean be real, be, wow, be very real. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're a cool guy to be. I mean uh I wouldn't lie about that. We were very cool. We we did a lot of things together. I think most of our mates will know that we, <laughs> wherever you see me, you are there yeah. as well and things like that. So to me, you were cool. I mean, you were just a cool guy. Yeah. I mean, I guess just like me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We did a lot together. We were part of the entertainment team. Yeah. We were organizing programs. Exactly. Uh, I mean, we did a lot. And then at a point. We were called to disciplinary committee yeah. for, for bad wearing, behaviors. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they thought we were we were in a group like when occult group. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. I yeah, do. because we we would dress the same yeah. way and With the same bags. Yeah, yeah, and things like that. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Shankoma, yeah. Costero, yeah, Wallace, Wallace, Malik, Malik, and the, and the guys, man, Charlie, Charlie, yeah. Charlie. It was all good. It was all good. So, uh he's a student right now in. University of Calgary, so he showed me around, and then I also show you around me <laughs> in Calgary, me myself in Calgary, sure, doing what I do sure, best. Sure, All right. sure. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> so, in the midst of uh, roaming around uh, University of Calgary courtesy my brother right here we look like twins somewhere okay let me turn my cabinet yeah. <laughs> yeah courtesy my brother yeah he's called jones so he took me around and stuff and then we had to come and take something because a comes in you know we're hungry so i want to ask him some few questions right anyway welcome to my youtube channel thank you bro thank you bro. Yeah. Some of my friends don't they fear, they fear camera, so don't put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, um, I know. I mean, you grew up in Ghana, yeah, and then you decided to make a step in life to achieve more. So you decided to come to Canada. Um, what has been your observation from you moving to Canada, especially with social life? in Canada? Well, uh, you know, in Ghana, we we live in a communal manner, in the mm -hmm. sense that we, you're, 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 you can always visit a family, you can mm -hmm. always go to your uncle's place, your auntie's place, yeah. your, your cousin's place, and things like that. So mm -hmm. that social lifestyle was, was there. You know, you can always call a brother or a friend. Mm -hmm or a cousin or a sister or family relation to rely on in times of uh, uh, challenges mm -hmm. and things like and that. And even companionship. Companionship, let yeah. me put it like that. But in Canada, <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you are all alone and, and not exactly all alone. You can, you can have friends and things like that, but there are limits to um, your friendship. Mm -hmm. you, cannot just get up and say you're going to your friend's home um, you're going to visit and things like that whereas in Ghana you can just call a sister that Charlie I'm coming mm -hmm. you know and things like that prepare <laughs> oh, something oh. down for me and, and 
and it will be done before you get there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen here like that. Mm -hmm. And I guess that that's also their culture. That's that's how they have decided to to live. Mm -hmm. You know, you cannot fault them on that basis and mm -hmm. things like that. So yeah, yeah, and 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 I think for them, if they had gone to Africa or Ghana, yeah. And have seen the way we do things. Yeah, they would have also been like, "Why is everybody yeah, hanging around yeah, with everybody?" Yeah, yeah, they may also be surprised at the way we, yeah, we, we mingle, the yeah. way we 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 we, we socialize yeah. among ourselves and things like that. And I you see there's one thing that I keep saying that mm -hmm. you know in Ghana our school systems are such that we easily socialize, yeah. right? So right from senior high school, the boarding house system and all that, you meet people from all walks of, all parts of Ghana and mm -hmm. things like that. But when you come together in the boarding house system, you are able to fraternize, yeah. you are able to socialize am among yourself. You get some of your best friends mm -hmm. from the boarding from house the boarding house system and things like that, and you, you grow up with it, mm -hmm. you, you get a point. Yeah. So, that that is it. Unlike here, where most of the schools are, most of the high schools are day schools. The elementary schools are okay. purely day schools, and mm -hmm. they don't have that boarding house system. Yeah, it, it doesn't mean that uh, they are not there, but they are not many. many. They are few, very few of them, and, and, and things like that. So, I think <coughs> it's one of the reasons why we we seem to socialize yeah, more, more than yeah. Than, so. Yeah. So basically, I was uh, yeah, like like you said, I was looking at the the social life because to me that is the basics of every human being growing up. Yes, you can have a certain social life and be like, okay, one cutting isolated, yeah. but yeah. it would never help. Yeah. And that is what I think I have seen here. I greeted like two three people. Like you said, that is their culture. Yeah. So I'm not blaming them. Yeah. But how are you managing that? How are you? getting yourself into okay this is how they are so are you also going to be like that in it initially it was it was a little difficult right mm -hmm. because coming from a background where you can just meet anybody and then you begin to yeah. become friends and mm -hmm. things like that it, 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 it isn't like that here mm -hmm. right so um it was difficult but i got to realize quickly that no this is how these people uh, leave mm -hmm. right so i need to learn to live like them mm -hmm. like it's being said when you go to rome you, you do, do what you mean, yeah. do and things like that so i have learned to to live with them like that it does not mean that they hate you let me yeah. put that on record yeah. it doesn't mean that they hate you but that is just their nature mm -hmm. they, they they want to be um sometimes alone, alone you know yeah. with their own stuff and things like that so that's how I see it. <laughs> Cheers to social life. <laughs> <laughs> so we just alighted in downtown Calgary and this is where the whole fun is gonna be at. <laughs> yeah, so that is social life. I mean cheers to social life. Um we can't change the way things are here. Of course. So yeah. we are here to adjust and to learn. Um you know how I do think, you know how sociable I am? Yeah. Do you think I can stay in Canada? I'm always you know, on the go. Yeah. Always I, on the go. One thing that you also need to understand is that there are different provinces in Canada, mm -hmm. right? A province like where we are now, the province of Alberta, in the city of Calgary, mm -hmm. you, may, you may find life a bit boring boring right but even within the city of calgary there are parts of the city that when you go mm -hmm. you are you are likely to have fun okay. great fun right okay. and things like that when you go to a province like ontario mm -hmm. you know maybe the city of toronto and things like that that that's a, a city that is on the go yeah like right like day mm -hmm. and things like that so it, it depends I mean, yeah. it depends. And sometimes, this is being said that you can create the life you want. You want, to, right? So, I mean, <laughs> there's no limitation to what you can do and things like that. Yeah, but I'm, but I'm happy seeing you mm -hmm. here. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we started from training college, like I told you in the video. Actually, in tr back in training college, you know, I, I arrived a, a bit late. Yeah. You know, you guys had reported to school before coming mm -hmm. because... 
because of some personal yeah. issues and things like that. The first day I arrived, mm -hmm. getting out of my the vehicle that brought me, mm -hmm. you were the first person I met. For real? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, based on that, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 to, yeah, 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 walk along. To, yeah, and that is where everything started. Everything started. <laughs> you know, we just clicked the first day yeah, yeah. and things like that. Uh, and we, we, we. Same and and, been, and been I believe different. since then it's been positive. Of course, of course. Of yeah, course. it's been positive. I, I, like I agree with some <laughs> of the reservations. My 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 coming to Canada mm -hmm. was to visit, right? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, honestly, I feel like Canada is a place for people. Who want to be focused in life yeah. and who want to make something for for themselves yeah i mean back in ghana i'm teaching fine yeah you know i'm, I'm doing other stuff yeah. but i feel like the system that runs ghana doesn't make you focus yeah it makes you say let me do it and see yeah you just try yeah let's try and see but here I mean, four days being here, talking to you, talking to my brother, other people, you realize that there's no time for any unnecessary, unnecessary things. things. Yeah, yeah, unnecessary yeah. things. <laughs> like, you know, in Ghana, in Africa, we live so happily. Yeah. We close from work, you meet the boys, yeah. you go to the beach, yeah. you drink. Yeah. On a, on a, on a weekend, yeah. you, you, we can drink Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. It's like there's freedom, but yeah. here I feel like there there can be freedom, financial freedom and everything. But you need to be focused and make money. You see, one thing that you also uh, have to realize that is that um, these economies are run based on seasons, right? Mm -hmm. Like, so when it is winter. Have, there are limitations to what you can do outside, right. especially depending on the, the weather and things like mm -hmm. that. You know, during spring and you know, getting closer to summer and things like that, it, it's a lively time, right? Okay. You see people coming out. Mm -hmm. That is where people want to come and shed off some of the the weights that they have built yeah. during the winter time, yeah. staying indoor okay. and, and all that. You, you, yeah, so you see a lot of fun activities mm -hmm. outside, you know, in the communities and things like mm -hmm. that. Even sometime till late, 9 p.m., okay. 10 p.m., you see people having fun, you know, and, and, and it's normal, mm -hmm. right? People decide not to, some people work throughout mm -hmm. and they feel that, okay, this is the time that the weather is okay. Yeah. We can step out and, and do what we want to do. So yeah. they step step out and then really engage in the activity yeah. that they, they need to. So yes, I agree with you on that. It depends, you know. <laughs> it, it's a system that actually makes you um, real focus. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see, yeah. the thing is that there are opportunities that are bound, mm -hmm. right? So. You, you can't sit down and say you will not do anything. You, you, you must always be on the be run. On the and there are new things coming up mm -hmm. each day, each time that you go out, you talk to people, you begin to see new opportunities and things like that. So you want to, if you are that goal oriented or target oriented person, mm -hmm. you want to go out there and, 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 and Try have a feel yeah. of, of what, what is out there. So that's how I see it. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> You've been here for how many? Um, for how long now? Just a year. A year. And so far, you are you are finding it okay. Yeah, I, I, it's okay. <laughs> 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 hey, so put it up as a comment. If you're watching this video, we just having a conversation. It's my brother. Uh, he's been here for a year schooling, and so we decided to you know talk about his experiences here, and. Um, how i can also learn from what he's 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 been through like i mean one year of staying here without your family right yeah without my that family. is the other thing i want to ask you yeah you came here to school yeah and you left your family in ghana it wasn't intentional i know <laughs> <laughs> how are you coping waking up every day 
Okay, tell me, you're married? Yeah, I'm married. Okay, you're married with how many kids? I have three kids. Three kids? Yeah, three boys. Okay, shout out to the ring, man. Yeah. Shout out to the ring. <laughs> so, how is it like for you waking up every day for a year, not seeing your wife's face, oh, your kid's man. face, and you have to live with it? You see, one thing that I need to say about this is um, initially it was difficult mm -hmm. because. Uh, Honestly speaking, <laughs> it is difficult. It, it, it's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult. But I think that when you have a, a spouse that does really understand what your goals are, mm -hmm. what your intentions are, mm -hmm. and then she's uh, he or she is ready to support your goals and intentions, you can. There comes a time that you you just have to sacrifice yeah. some of the you know the privileges that mm -hmm. you have. At a certain point now for a better yeah. you know future, future and yeah. things like that so i think that uh, that's what has been keeping me going mm -hmm. and then because and it's not as if we don't talk we yeah, yeah. talk we talk yeah, but i mean physical because yeah, like, when the when the <laughs> when the weather is too cold yeah I you mean, need a family member <laughs> <laughs> to keep you company yeah to right? keep you company <laughs> so it's 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 not been easy. I wouldn't lie about that. Mm -hmm. uh, but but we are coping. And then and then with your kids, you talk My to them. My kids, yes, I talk to them as well. But because of the time difference as well, yeah, sometimes, it makes it difficult. Know, yeah. When when you are awake, they are going to school. You know, mm -hmm. When when you are back home, they You'll are sleeping, they are yeah. sleeping and things like that. So it's but what I do often is that the weekends are such that I don't I don't play with the weekends yeah, so I okay. spend most of my time with them yeah talking to talking them, to them and things like that so, mm. yeah I'm I'm, I'm 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 facing the same thing I came here and I I I'm, I was having issue with sleeping because my body was stuck to the gun yeah. did you ever feel because listen I go here and then in the afternoon in Canada that will be like evening in Ghana and I'll be feeling sleepy. Yeah. Because we, we call this jet lag, yes. jet lag or something. Yeah. yeah. And it has not been easy for me. And but then my fourth day, I think I'm coping. Yeah. He's been calling me. <laughs> He's been calling me. Call, what's up? You feel bad? Were you able to sleep? I'm like, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. And I will be talking and all about. The fourth day, I think I was able to stay up. Yesterday, we went to town. It was in the afternoon. I could see that yeah. it was in the afternoon, but but I checked my time was nine o'clock, yeah. p.m. Yeah, I was like, ah, why do we still have the sun mm. on, even at night? Yeah, I, I think I think that uh, you know when you when you are new to a place like Canada, you are coming from Ghana to Canada, you know it's about six hours. Yeah, you know in terms of the yeah. time difference and things. Sometimes it gets only seven hours. Mm -hmm. And also depends on where you find yourself in okay. Canada. Right? Okay. So uh, <clears throat> your first week, you are likely to face mm -hmm. that challenge. Sometimes some people go as long as their their first two weeks in wow. in, in Canada and things like that. And you are it's all to due to what you were used to back yeah, home, yeah. you know. And you are now facing a different, a different time. time. An you know, environment. An environment and things like that. So sometimes people walk around and they sleepwalk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean when you come in okay. like that, you can okay. you can have that experience. Wow. You it's it's after Yeah, it's yeah, know, it's after but, but you are sleeping. But you are sleepy. And you are actually sleeping. You can't control it. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean it's 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 normal, but with time you get I was surprised sleep. the first yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. So like I was feeling sleepy, I was like, no, it's not time. Mm -hmm. I mean, my, my, Family was like, yeah. You need to go to bed. Yeah, yeah. Don't force it. Yeah, yeah. And as as time goes yeah. on, you feel you like get used to it. Yeah. So I'm getting used to it. <laughs> it is. Um, let me see. What's the other time? It should be four p.m. It is four p.m. Yeah. now. If we, if it was two days ago, I'll be feeling sleepy. <laughs> Because at by now it should be around ten PM in Ghana. In right? Ghana, yeah. yeah. So Ghanaians are sleeping by this time. Ten o'clock. Oh. It's four o'clock. And mm. I'm so active. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sipping tea. So hey, this was a nice conversation with me and my brother. Uh, I'll be bringing you more of my experiences here in Canada. We'll be going to you said downtown, right? Yeah, downtown. I'll show you what downtown is. Thank you very much for checking us out. Put up a comment if you've been to Canada before. 
if you've had any of these experiences, just put it up as a comment. Let's have a conversation. And shout out to all of you for watching my video. Thanks. Yeah, yeah Charlie, we they come pick a trip right now. <laughs> to where? To the good downtown. Yeah, so we are, we are going to downtown Calgary. Yeah. yeah, so we're coming to pick a train. And then, Charlie, there are a lot of options as to uh, your movements. We have the bus, we have the train. We have Uber. We have the Uber. But which one is most expensive? Uber is expensive. Okay, so we want to do the cheap ones, yeah? <laughs>